Hey everyone. All right, today's video is going to be a review of integer rules. Make sure that you are writing down any important information you see in the video. And if you see me write, you want to write that down as well. Our objective, I will be able to solve problems with integers that involve addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Keep in mind the integers, that would be zero, and the positive whole numbers, as well as the negatives. All right, let's start with adding numbers that have the same sign. So I'm gonna start with positive plus positive, which is simple, but I have an illustration. So here we have smiling faces. I'm gonna call these good guys. We have three good guys and seven more. They're both good, so if these two groups were to join up, we would just have 10 total good guys. So I'm gonna use positive numbers to represent good guys. That being said, we're gonna use negative numbers to represent bad guys. So here we have three bad guys, and here we have seven bad guys. Now, since they are both bad, if these two groups were to join up, they would most likely get along well, and we would have 10 total bad guys. And since they're bad, I wanna make sure that the number is negative. And this is just showing what I explained. So if you're adding positives, add like normal, keep it positive. If you're adding negatives, add like normal and keep it negative. If you have trouble remembering anything that involves a negative number, try the good guy, bad guy thing, because it helps a lot, especially when we're adding different signs. Um, you may want to take a moment to pause and write whatever you need to down. And we are going to move on to adding numbers with different signs. So since they have different signs, that means we have different faces. Here we have three good guys, but now we have seven bad guys. So if they're to join up, they're not going to get along very well, and they're going to battle. So based on what we see here, we can say, well, the bad guys are going to win because they outnumber the good guys. So let's say that they fight, so these three good guys fight these three bad guys and who is left standing we would have four bad guys so since they're bad that means it's negative so our answer would be a negative four now in this situation here we have three bad guys and we have seven good guys so if these groups were to meet they're gonna battle so these three bad guys battle these three good guys and we have four good guys left standing so our answer would be a positive four so basically what's happening here when we add different signs it's really just subtracting the numbers so in both of these examples we know that seven minus three is four but we just have to determine the sign of our answer so because a positive seven is greater than a positive three we would take this sign here and put that with the answer. And then here, seven is greater than three, seven is positive, so the answer is positive. Anytime you're adding with positives and negatives, if you wanna draw out little smiley faces or some plus signs and minus signs to kinda of illustrate it, it helps a lot. Okay, let's talk about subtraction. I'm gonna start with subtraction of positive numbers. So if we have something like nine minus five, we've been doing that for years, nine minus five, we know that would be a positive four. So we're just subtracting like normal. Now, let's say it's the other way around. We have five minus nine. So whenever you have a small number minus a bigger number, it's gonna be the same difference, but it's going to be negative. If we have different signs, I always have my students chant this, and yes, you will be chanting this in class tomorrow. We do not subtract with negative numbers. We add the opposite. So 
So anytime we see a subtraction problem and we've got a negative number involved, we're going to add the opposite. So let's do some examples. So here we have 9 minus a negative 5, positive minus a negative. So I want to add the opposite. So I'm going to change this to an addition symbol. And then I take the opposite of the next number. I'm going to go in order, just like the words. Add the opposite. So I add and then move to the right, the opposite. The opposite of a negative 5 is a positive 5. So we're just taking the opposite sign. Now we really have 9 plus 5, and that's 14. Okay, here we have negative minus a negative. Negative 9 minus a negative 5. So I'm going to add the opposite. So this will change to a positive 5. So now it's really negative 9 plus a positive 5. So now that we have different signs being added together, I'm going to think of the good guy, bad guy thing. I have nine bad guys, and then I have five good guys. So I know the bad guys are going to win, and they have four more. So we, the answer would be a negative four. Here we have a negative minus a positive, negative nine minus five. Again, I want to add the opposite. So I'm going to change this to addition. And then this is a positive 5, so I need to make it negative. So I'd have a negative 9 plus a negative 5. 9 bad guys plus 5 more bad guys. They're just going to join forces, and we're going to have 14 bad guys. All right, with multiplication and division, we use something called Mike Dude. And the reason he's called Mike Dude the M and the D are going to stand for multiplication and division. So Mike Dude starts with an M, then a D. So you only use Mike Dude for multiplication and division. So let me show you how Mike Dude work, works. Get in tongue tied. All right, here we have 3 times the negative 8. I'm going to look at the signs on these numbers, and I'm going to cross them off. So here I have a positive 3, so I'm going to mark out the plus sign. Here I have a negative 8. I'm going to mark that out. Whatever I have left is the sign of the answer. We're going to have a negative answer, and 3 times 8 is 24. And you don't have to draw Mike Dude over and over again. You can always just kind of use a piece of paper, or use your hand or something, and just cover up whatever's there. So here we have negative 4 times 11, so a negative times a positive. I'm going to have a negative answer, and 4 times 11 is 44. Next we have negative 6 divided by a negative 2. So we're going to have a positive answer, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. And finally, we have a positive 48 divided by a negative 12. I'm going to have a negative answer, and 48 divided by 12 is 4. All right. That is going to conclude our video. If you need to go back and rewatch anything, make sure that you do that. Make sure that you have your spiral with you in class tomorrow so that we can check your notes, and we will see you tomorrow.